welcome to the teaching video for level one, approximately weeks one through four, of sight singing for festival choirs. My name is Karen Garrett, and today we'll be learning how to engage students for oral and musicianship training. The preparation of the ear prior to seeing the written notation is paramount in this course. While it is tempting to simply pull out the next lesson for the next day, be sure that you've done at least five minutes of oral training with your students prior to going to the printed word. The first thing we'll introduce today to our students is a major scale using movable dose solfege and Kerwin hand signals. It's important to get the singer started off right in their singing, insist on a good tone when sight reading and singing in solfege, and also actually have them sing the pure vowel of the Italian solfege. So sing re, do, re, instead of do, re, and you'll be much happier in your choral rehearsal when the students have concentrated on pure vowels. Um, today we're going to be looking at just the ascending scale, and you can slowly introduce this to your students on the first day of class. Do, re, mi, fa, important in this early stage to the students become fluent with this new language of solfege. They'll need your patience and your guidance and the constant reminder to use their Kerwin hand signals when they're singing. Please be sure to reinforce it every day so it becomes natural to them, this new language of solfege. Depending upon how successful your students feel, you can go directly to the descending scale or you can save it for another lesson. Now listen to me coming down, and we have to do the signs backwards, so you'll get it. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Let's try it together. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Excellent job. Let's go all the way up and all the way down together. Teeny bit faster if you've got it. You're doing so well. One, two, here we go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Good job. We'll repeat the top do, okay? Let's try it again a little faster. One, two, ready, go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Yes. How are you doing with your hands? Good. It's okay? All right. Excellent. Using rounds, games, and rhythm units will help to keep your students engaged and to keep this, the oral skills fresh. Musicianship training can be fun training. The students are very engaged, and there's a lot of games and rounds that we'll be learning in these videos. So we're going to do a pattern that goes do, then to re, it'll go back to do, and then this time up to me, and then back to do, and this time up to fa, and back to do, and this time up to so. So let's try a little bit together. Okay, you'll get it, right? We'll go nice and slow the first time. Do, ready, follow me. Do, do, re, do, do, up to me. Mi, re, do, this time up to fa. Do, re, mi, fa, mi, re, do. What are we going up to? So, right? Mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. Keep going. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Last one. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Good for you. Instead of trying to do all of the signs really fast, only do the new sign. Watch. Do, do, re, do, do, re, mi, re, do. So you're only signing the new note. Ready? One and two and here we go. Do, do, re, do, do, re, mi, re, do, do, re, mi, fa, mi, re, do, do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do, do, re, mi, fa, so,
sol la sol fa mi re do do re mi fa sol la ti la sol fa mi re do do re mi fa sol la ti do ti la sol fa mi re do excellent now in a round and a teeny bit faster if you can remember we're going to start with this group and this group come in second okay don't forget to hold your hand for the new syllable it will help to keep you on track Okay, this team ready? And I'll bring you in. Do, ready, and go. Do, 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 re, mi, re, do, re, do, re, mi, fa, mi, re, do, fa, do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, fa, so, fa. You can smile while you sing. Nice work. Good for you. The next clip will show you a tool for teaching patterns that your students will come to know by heart and through audiation where they will actually be able to hear the sounds after a while from so much patterning and memorize the sounds associated with the solfege prior to going to the written symbol. Fluency and audiation are the two most important things for the patterning. Now you'll see a clip of me training my students in short patterns, do through so, in the first part of their lesson. I added the rhythm unit just to be able to give some variety to the lesson. Do, re, mi, go. Do, re, mi. Mi, re, do. Mi, re, do. Do, re, do. Do, re, do. Do, re, mi, fa, mi, re, do. Go. Do, re, mi, fa, mi, re, do. All right, watch my hand and copycat what I sing. If I don't sing the syllable or the sound, you put it back in for me, okay? All right, here we go. My turn first. Do, re, mi, go. Do, re, mi. Mi, re. Mi, re, do. Nice. Re, mi, fa. Re, mi, fa. Fa. Go. Fa, mi, re. Excellent. Mi, fa, so. Mi, fa, so. So, mi. So, fa, mi. Mi. Go. Mi, re, do. Watch. Your turn. Re, re, do. Excellent. This tool is also used to train rhythm clapping so that the students actually feel the beat kinesthetically before they are asked to read rhythms on the written page. Now you'll see a clip of the students doing by copy clapping and also a pattern where I tap my legs and then clap and they have to tap also in rhythm. This helps to train a steady pulse throughout. I'll clap first, you clap second. One, two, just watch my hands. And your turn. My turn. Your turn. You can smile while you clap. And go. My turn. Your turn. Good. Good job on keeping an ear on the beat, okay? This time I'm going to tap my legs and clap, and then you're going to tap your legs and clap. So when I'm tapping my legs, you need to listen to the next pattern, okay? One, two, do this. Watch first. Go. Now clap your hands. Now tap your legs. Clap your hands, tap your legs, clap, and tap, and clap. Good job. Go, and watch, and go. Be sure to always do patterning in advance of encountering that skill on the written page for your lessons. 
Again, five minutes a day with opening exercises and patterning, perhaps right after warm-ups, will do it. It's the only way that they will be able to become fluent in the language. Here's a video clip of adding law to the scale and also singing on the tonic triad. Do, re, mi, go. Do, re, mi. Mi, fa, so. Mi, fa, so. So, la, so. So, la, so. Fa. Fa, mi, re. Good job. Mi, fa, so. Mi, fa, so. So, la, so. So, la, so. Use your hands. Fa. And go. Fa, mi, re. Mi. And go. Mi, re, do. Do. And go. Do, re, do. And go. Re, mi, fa. Did you notice in the last pattern how the students struggled with the pitch re? I was listening and I immediately corrected them to reinforce the right pitch. And then you'll see me come back to that in future lessons. As the teacher, it's really important to be listening to their response so that you can reinforce any patterns that they struggle with. Now you're going to see a clip of me standing at the board using what I call the solfege ladder to point to syllables and have the students sing back. It's really just a variety of using the Kerwin hand signals, the teacher using the Kerwin hand signals. Now the students are seeing the syllable on the board. And so it's just another way to do the same thing of ingraining audiation and patterning. Notice for varieties, for variety, that they can sometimes use the current hand signals as well as doing the board, any combination thereof. You could have a student point to the board while the class sings. There's another variation. Um, probably should do that with a rhythm unit so that the students know to be able to keep a steady pulse while they're singing. Do, re, mi, hands. Do, re, mi. Mi, fa, so. Mi, fa, so. So, la, so. So, la, so. Fa, mi, re. Fa, mi, re. Mi, re, do. Mi, re, do. Do. And go. Do, re. Good job. And sing. Do, mi, mi. Don't forget to use your hands. Ready and go. Do, mi, mi. Good job. Re. And sing. Re, mi, fa. Mi. And sing. Mi, fa, so. Mi. And go. Mi, so, so. Good job. So. And sing. So for me. So best of luck as you train your students for oral skills in these very early lessons. You're well on your way. Thank you.